continue our coverage of Madex 2025 in South Korea. Local company Hanwha Systems is showcasing its uh, uncrewed systems as well as its Mumty solutions, both for the domestic market and for export. To find out more, I am with uh, Ian, team leader for business development at Hanwha Systems. Ian, good afternoon. Thank you for welcoming us. Good afternoon, Mr. Xavier. <laughs> So, you have that nice display re regarding uh, maritime man and man teaming. That's right. What is the role of Fanwa Systems? What solutions do you provide for this uh, global solution? Okay, got it. So, basically, so it's not just because of the, how can I say, the low birth rate. Since our company, our group, we really respect uh, the human being itself. So that we think that we need to provide this kind of uh, unmanned system for our defense solution. So basically this uh, Momti solution is a uh, man and unmanned teaming solution. And then we Hanwha system, we are providing the, the, the Leo satellite solution together with the unmanned solution for the unmanned vessel. So basically you can see here, we have uh, the, the also observation solutions such as like a SAR satellite or the IR satellite by our own. And then one of our satellites is already operating in the orbit. And then Using this kind of a space asset, we acquire the data and we transfer to the communication satellite. From the, the communication satellite, we uh, relay the data and command to our the naval asset. Such as like, okay, for example, use the ghost commander, uh, we send the, the, all the information to there and from there, we deliver the command to our vessel, such as like uh, unmanned surface vessel and then uh, unmanned uh, underwater vehicle. So, so uh, and then for a little bit for here, you can see that we do have uh, several solutions such as like uh, we have a uh, ISR proposed uh, USB and also at the same time we have the, the attack type with a weaponry system USB. And when it goes to the underwater, we also have a sonar, uh, sonar detection uh, solution and then we have a combat type the unmanned underwater vehicle. So for the some kind of much more detail, we can go to this area and I can show you the, our, the, the, the concept for this vehicle. Uh, we'll take a closer look at the new USVs, but what is the challenge in, uh, in this global picture? Because you need to work on connectivity between the different assets, also the software to control the unmanned system. I believe that's what you provide on the Ghost Commander 2, which will yeah. act as a command ship for uncrewed system. Yeah. Can you tell us more about the connectivity and yeah, software right. to command? So for any other, this kind of a connection, connectivity, the network itself, we provide uh, those kind of equipment, let's say the, the module and everything. For example, we also invest to the, one of the foreign company. We merged uh, one of the company for the, this kind of uh, the satellite signal transmission and the receiving itself. So that we put those kind of antenna on our OSA, like uh, uh, Ghost Commander or any other the USB and other, so that we receive the, the signal from the space asset. And then the, for this vessel, vessel by vessel, we also communicate each other since we are uh, this kind of, uh, we are very specialized the communication solution and then the network itself. And uh, I want to, I proudly want to say that it's like we are very specialized in the other sensors such as like uh, the multifunction radar and other the all the CMS solution for the Navy uh, asset. Thank you very much. Let's go take a closer look at the okay. USB. Ian, you're showcasing these two unmanned surface vessels for the very first time, a Comba USB and an Attack USB. Yeah, right. So what can you tell us about the Comba USB? Okay, so for example, when it goes to the combat type, the USB, basically the, this is one of the, our the concept model under the development right now. So basically, uh, this vessel is around this like uh, 230 tonnes of the vessel with uh, airway around uh, 40 to 50 meters. But the benefit of this uh, vessel by the Hanwha itself, uh, comparing to the other uh, companies, because uh, Hanwha Ocean is a shipbuilder. They make the hull, they make the design. Hanwha system, we are making the sensor together with the unmanned solution. But when it goes to the weaponry system, such as like uh, this RCW 20 meter, or any guided missile over there, or the loitering missile over there, it's done by the Hanwha Aerospace. So Hanwha Ocean, 
system and aerospace, the three uh, uh, sister companies, we make the total solution by ourselves. So that's the reason that we are not just limited to this model. We do have a variety of models so based on the customer's needs. And the sensors as well, right? And sensors one, as well, of course. You have like a uh, multifunction radar. radar on the, the EOIR, the equipment, everything to be done by the Hanhua system. So the, I can say that all the, all the major the equipment and the solution to be done by the Hanhua group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This concept, is it for the domestic market or for export? Uh, both of them. So there are going to be a one coming project from the ROK government. But at the same time, there is a need from the foreign customer so that now we are under the discussion with them. Yeah. What about the uh, attacker USV? So this is, uh, I believe you took feedback from the war in Ukraine where Ukrainian Navy has successfully uh, used the suicide USV? Yeah, of course, so there is a kind of a affection from the, the Ukraine war, but at the same time, this one we develop, develop it by our own purpose, because we do have the many streets nearby here in Korea also, so that not just for the Korea or the Ukraine war, everything is like a, we just made it to defend our the nation itself. So, for example, this uh, attack USB is uh, currently the airway is around uh, six meter, and then width is around uh, two meter, and then ton is around uh, just uh, two two ton. So that let's say we can say that this uh, uh, attack USB is uh, physically attack the, the the street, like uh, it's like a uh, self destruction something like that. Yeah. But other than this uh, USB, we also have uh, our ISR USB that which to be delivered soon in Korea. Yeah. And you work on a extra large UV XL UV as well yeah, of course. for yeah. the Rock Navy. Yes, right. Because uh, those kind of a project to be uh, materialized later. So currently, I want to say that uh, for the Navy itself, we are trying to participate in that market. But basically, currently, we are now focusing on the, some another customer in Korea that we already got the contract. Yeah. Ian, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Yeah. <laughs>